This article is a technical description of the sound system of the Vietnamese language, including phonetics and phonology. Two main varieties of Vietnamese, Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City Saigon, are described below. <laughs> Initial consonants Initial consonants which exist only in the Hanoi dialect are in red, while those that exist only in the Saigon dialect are in blue. With is the only initial consonant permitted to form consonant clusters with other consonants. P occurs syllable initially only in loan words, and is mostly converted into as in Sambon, derived from French champagne. The glottalized stops are preglottalized and voiced. The glottis is always closed before the oral closure. This glottal closure is often not released before the release of the oral closure, resulting in the characteristic implosive pronunciation. However, sometimes the glottal closure is released prior to the oral release in which case the stops are pronounced b, d. Therefore, the primary characteristic is preglottalization with implosion being secondary. m, are bilabial, while, f, v, are labiodental. t, t, are denti-alveolar, t, t, while, N, L, are apicoalveolar. C, are phonetically laminopalatoalveolar the blade of the tongue makes contact behind the alveolar ridge. C, are often slightly affricated, T, but they are unaspirated. A glottal stop, is inserted before words that begin with a vowel or, with. Topic. Hanoi initials S, Z, are laminal. D, G and R are all pronounced, Z. CH and TR are both pronounced, C, while X and S are both pronounced, S. <laughs> Saigon initials S, is apical. D and G are both pronounced, J. Historically, V, is pronounced, J, merging with D and G. However, it is becoming distinct and pronounced as, V. Historically, a distinction is made between CH, C, and TR, as well as between X, S, and S. However, these two pairs are becoming merged as, C, and, S, respectively. In southern speech, the phoneme, R, generally represented in Vietnamese linguistics by the letter R, has a number of variant pronunciations that depend on the speaker. More than one pronunciation may even be found within a single speaker. It may occur as a retroflex fricative, an alveolar approximant, a flap, or a trill, R. Topic. Comparison of initials The table below summarizes these sound correspondences. Topic: Vowels. Topic: Vowel nuclei. The IPA chart of vowel nuclei above is based on the sounds in Hanoi Vietnamese. Other regions may have different inventories. Vowel nuclei consist of monophthongs simple vowels and three centering diphthongs. All vowels are unrounded except for the four back rounded vowels, u, o, u, and a, uh, are pronounced short, shorter than the other vowels. While there are small consistent spectral differences between, and, it has not been established that they are perceptually significant. Many descriptions, such as Thompson, Nguyen 1970, Nguyen 1997, consider this vowel to be close back unrounded. However, Han's instrumental analysis indicates that it is more central than back. Hoang 1965, Brunel 2003, and Pham 2006 also transcribe this vowel as central. Topic. Closing sequences. In Vietnamese, vowel nuclei are able to combine with offglides, j, or, with to form closing diphthongs and triphthongs. Below is a chart listing the closing sequences of general northern speech. Thompson 1965 says that in Hanoi, words spelled with u and uo are pronounced iw, i with, respectively, whereas other dialects in the Tonkin Delta pronounce them as with and with. 
This observation is also made by FAM 2008 and Kirby 2011. Final stops When stops, p, t, k, occur at the end of words, they have no audible release p, t, k. When the velar consonants, k, are after, u, o, they are articulated with a simultaneous bilabial closure k, p, m, i.e. doubly articulated or a strongly labialized k. Hanoi finals Topic Analysis of final CH NH The pronunciation of syllable final CH and NH in Hanoi Vietnamese has had different analyses One analysis that of Thompson 1965 has them as being phonemes C where c contrasts with both syllable final t t and c k and contrasts with syllable final n n and ing. Final c is then identified with syllable initial c. Another analysis has final ch and nh as representing predictable allophonic variants of the velar phonemes k and that occur after upper front vowels i orthographic i and e orthographic e circumflex. This analysis interprets orthographic ak and an as an underlying which becomes phonetically open and diphthongized k ak aj This diphthongization also affects ek and n ek jk e j Arguments for the second analysis include the limited distribution of final c and the gap in the distribution of k and which do not occur after i and e the pronunciation of ak and an as c and in certain conservative central dialects, and the patterning of k tilde c and tilde in certain reduplicated words. Additionally, final c is not articulated as far forward as the initial c, c, and are pre-velar k with no alveolar contact. The first analysis closely follows the surface pronunciation of a slightly different Hanoi dialect than the second. In this dialect, the a in ac and a is not diphthongized but is actually articulated more forward, approaching a front vowel a. This results in a three-way contrast between the rhymes an ash n versus an ash versus ang ash. For this reason, a separate phonemic is posited. Topic: <laughs> Table of Hanoi finals. The following rhymes ending with velar consonants have been diphthongized in the Hanoi dialect. With the above phonemic analyzes, the following is a table of rhymes ending in n, t, k in the Hanoi dialect. Topic: <laughs> Saigon finals. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Merger of finals. While the variety of Vietnamese spoken in Hanoi has preserved finals faithfully from Middle Vietnamese, the variety spoken in Saigon has drastically changed its finals. Rhymes ending in k and t n were merged except after in these rhymes, k is the underlying phoneme while k p m occurs after rounded vowels u o and t n occurs after front vowels i e. Subsequently, vowels in labial velar rhymes became diphthongized while vowels in alveolar rhymes became centralized in a similar fashion to the Hanoi dialect. <laughs> Table of Saigon finals The following rhymes have been diphthongized or centralized in the Saigon dialect. With the above phonemic analyzes, the following is a table of rhymes ending in n, t. K, M, K, P, in the Saigon dialect. Topic. Tone Vietnamese vowels are all pronounced with an inherent tone. Tones differ in pitch, length, contour melody, intensity, Phonation with or without accompanying constricted vocal cords Unlike many Native American, African, and Chinese languages, Vietnamese tones do not rely solely on pitch contour. Vietnamese often uses instead a register complex which is a combination of phonation type, pitch, length, vowel quality, etc. 
So perhaps a better description would be that Vietnamese is a register language and not a pure tonal language. In Vietnamese orthography, tone is indicated by diacritics written above or below the vowel. Topic: <laughs> Six-tone analysis. There is much variation among speakers concerning how tone is realized phonetically. There are differences between varieties of Vietnamese spoken in the major geographic areas northern, central, southern and smaller differences within the major areas e.g. Hanoi versus other northern varieties. In addition, there seems to be variation among individuals. More research is needed to determine the remaining details of tone realization and the variation among speakers. Northern varieties The six tones in the Hanoi and other northern varieties are Ngong tone The Ngong tone is level at around the mid-level and is produced with modal voice phonation i.e. with normal phonation. Alexander de Rhodes describes this as level. Nguyen describes it as high or mid level. Huyen tone The Huyen tone starts low mid and falls 21. Some Hanoi speakers start at a somewhat higher point 31. It is sometimes accompanied by breathy voice or lax phonation in some speakers, but this is lacking in other speakers. Ba equals a. Ah. Alexander de Rhodes 1651 describes this as grave lowering. Nguyen 1997 describes it as low falling. Hoi tone the hoi tone starts a mid-level and falls. It starts with modal voice phonation, which moves increasingly toward tense voice with accompanying harsh voice although the harsh voice seems to vary according to speaker. In Hanoi, the tone is mid-falling In other northern speakers, the tone is mid-falling and then rises back to the mid-level This characteristic gives this tone its traditional description as dipping. However, the falling rising contour is most obvious in citation forms or when syllable final, in other positions and when in fast speech, the rising contour is negligible. The hoi also is relatively short compared with the other tones, but not as short as the nong tone. Alexander de Rhodes 1651 describes this as smooth rising. Nguyen 1997 describes it as dipping rising. Na tone The na tone is mid-rising Many speakers begin the vowel with modal voice, followed by strong creaky voice starting toward the middle of the vowel, which is then lessening as the end of the syllable is approached. Some speakers with more dramatic glottalization have a glottal stop closure in the middle of the vowel i.e. as vv. In Hanoi Vietnamese, the tone starts at a higher pitch 45 than other northern speakers. Alexander de Rhodes 1651 describes this as chesty raised. Nguyen 1997 describes it as creaking rising sac tone the sac tone starts as mid and then rises 35 in much the same way as the na tone it is accompanied by tense voice phonation throughout the duration of the vowel in some hanoi speakers the na tone is noticeably higher than the sac tone for example sac topic 34 na 45. Alexander de Rhodes 1651 describes this as acute angry. Nguyen 1997 describes it as high or mid rising. Nong tone. The Nong tone starts mid or low mid and rapidly falls in pitch 32 or 21. It starts with tense voice that becomes increasingly tense until the vowel ends in a glottal stop closure. This tone is noticeably shorter than the other tones. Alexander de Rhodes 1651 describes this as chesty heavy. Nguyen 1997 describes it as constricted. Topic: <laughs> Southern varieties. The southern variety is similar through all tones except for the nong and na tones. The nong tone is pronounced while the na tone is merged into the hoi tone. Topic: North Central and Central varieties. 
North Central and Central Vietnamese varieties are fairly similar with respect to tone although within the North Central dialect region there is considerable internal variation. It is sometimes said by people from other provinces that people from Nguyen pronounce every tone as a nong tone. Topic: <laughs> 8 tone analysis. An older analysis assumes 8 tones rather than 6. This follows the lead of traditional Chinese phonology. In Middle Chinese, syllables ending in a vowel or nasal allowed for three tonal distinctions, but syllables ending with p, t, or k, had no tonal distinctions. Rather, they were consistently pronounced with a short high tone, which was called the entering tone and considered a fourth tone. Similar considerations lead to the identification of two additional tones in Vietnamese for syllables ending in p, t, c, and k. These are not phonemically distinct from the sac and nong tones, however, and hence not considered as separate tones by modern linguists and are not distinguished in the orthography. Syllables and phonotactics According to Hannes 1997, there are 4,500 to 4,800 possible spoken syllables depending on dialect, and the standard national orthography can represent 6,200 syllables new orthography represents more phonemic distinctions than are made by any one dialect. A description of syllable structure and exploration of its patterning according to the prosodic analysis approach of J.R. Firth is given in Henderson 1966. The Vietnamese syllable structure follows the scheme C1 W V G C2 plus twer. In other words, a syllable has an obligatory nucleus and tone, and can have an optional consonant onset, an optional on-glide, with, and an optional coda or off-glide. More explicitly, the syllable types are as follows C1, any consonant may occur in as an onset with the following exceptions. P does not occur in native Vietnamese word SW, the onglide, with sometimes transcribed instead as labialization on a preceding consonant does not occur after labial consonants F, V, M does not occur after N in native Vietnamese words it occurs in uncommon Sino-Vietnamese borrowings V, the vowel nucleus V may be any of the following 14 monophthongs or diphthongs I, U, E, O, A, A, I, U G, the offglide may be, J, or, with. Together, V and G must form one of the diphthongs or triphthongs listed in the section on vowels. Offglide, J, does not follow the front vowels, I, E, I. Offglide, with does not follow the rounded vowels, U, O, U. With some exceptions, such as Kuyu Te, elbow. The offglide, with cannot occur if the syllable contains a, with onglidec 2, the optional coda C2 is restricted to labial, coronal, and velar stops and nasals, P, T, K, M, N, which cannot co-occur with the offglides, J, with. T, syllables are spoken with an inherent tone contour. Six tone contours are possible for syllables with offglides, J, with, closed syllables with nasal codas per meter, N, and open syllables, i.e., those without consonant codas, p, t, k. If the syllable is closed with one of the oral stops, p, t, k, only two contours are possible, the sac and the nong tones. Topic notes 2 below is a table comparing four linguists' different transcriptions of Vietnamese vowels as well as the orthographic representation. Notice that this article mostly follows Han 1966, with the exception of marking short vowels short. Thompson 1965 says that the vowels orthographica and orthographica are shorter than all of the other vowels which is shown here with the length mark added to the other vowels His vowels above are only the basic vowel phonemes Thompson gives a very detailed description of each vowel's various allophonic realizations Hahn 1966 uses acoustic analysis including spectrograms and formant measuring and plotting to describe the vowels she states that the primary difference between orthographic O and A and A and A is a difference of length, a ratio of 2 to 1. O. Topic A. A. Topic A. 
Performant plots also seem to show that, may be slightly higher than in some contexts, but this would be secondary to the main difference of length. Another thing to mention about Hun's studies is that she uses a rather small number of participants and, additionally, although her participants are native speakers of the Hanoi variety, they all have lived outside of Hanoi for a significant period of their lives e.g. in France or Ho Chi Minh City. Nguyen has a simpler, more symmetrical description. He says that his work is not a complete grammar, but rather a descriptive introduction. So, his chart above is more a phonological vowel chart rather than a phonetic one. <laughs> 